from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer Build Your Dreams, also known as BYD, has officially launched its battery-powered Atto 3 crossover model EV in the South African markets. Cameron McKay has a story. At a launch event in Melrose Arch in June, BYD confirmed that the standard and extended Atto 3 ranges would be sold with a 5-year, 100,000-kilometer warranty and service plan. The vehicles will sell at 768,000 Rand for the standard model and 835,000 Rand for the extended models. BYD Middle East and Africa Auto Sales Division GM AD Huang stated that the Atto 3 will support the company's vision of a global reduction in carbon dioxide emissions. BYD sees this not just as an initiative but also an action plan to integrate into the value fabric of the company. At this moment, we already achieved a quite significant milestone. We are having offset nearly 35 billion kilograms of uh, carbon emissions. This is uh, a significant uh, milestone is equivalent to planting nearly 600 million trees across our planet. Another mission from us is to using technological innovations for a better life. So to a better life, people may be easy to think, I want a luxury stuff, a luxury car. In the past, we consider luxury for sure is quality, but also the high price. But BYD is trying to redefine this luxury for electrical car. With an affordable price, but intelligent and safer. That's why we developed the key thing, the uh, D-Link and the Breta batteries. We can proudly offer the best products and safer products and the vehicles to our customers. We are here to introduce the Auto 3. This is the first vehicles we are launching for South Africa. This is also the first step BYD established our branch here. But more will come later on. Also attending the event was Gauteng Growth and Development Agency subsidiary, the Automotive Industry Development Center Eastern Cape Chairperson Pumzile Zitumane, who is enthused about BYD's global resurgence and the company's current global standing as the main manufacturer of EVs. As a country with over 100 years of automotive engineering, we are working hard in assisting the DITC, DITIC, that is the Economic Development uh, Department in South Africa, not only to retain our global standing, but also to improve it from the current 0.69% of global market share. We believe that DIT's global standing will assist South Africa improve its market share, attract the much needed investment and create jobs in our country. Zitumane also pointed out that there is a significant market for affordable BYD vehicles in South Africa and in the rest of Africa. This comes in addition to the need to address climate change and carbon dioxide emissions as the transport sector emits about 26% of global emissions. South Africa is one of the main CO2 emissions. South Africa has introduced a green paper policy of new energy vehicles, hopefully to be completed by the end of this year. The policy is meant to create a favorable environment for companies like BID to invest in South Africa. We are glad that BID chose South Africa in its expansion plans on the African continent. The Atto 3 is a compact sports utility vehicle. The EV is powered with a single front-wheel drive electric motor and has a peak output of 150 kilowatt and 310 newton meters torque. The Atto 3 standard model comes with a 50 kilowatt hour battery capacity, while the extended model contains a 60.5 kilowatt hour battery. The standard model has a range of 345 kilometers 
and the extended model is 420 kilometers. The Atto 3 has a charging capacity of 88 kilowatt direct current and is built on 400 volt electrical architecture and supports maximum alternating current charging as well as DC fast charging. The EV has a boot that supports 440 liters of cargo capacity with a maximum of about 1338 liters. An important feature of the Atto 3 is its vehicle to load support which allows the vehicle's battery pack to supply standard 120 to 240 volt power. The vehicle supports up to 3.3 kilowatt power output with this feature. This means that the vehicle can be used as a power source for South Africans during times of load shedding, particularly given the country's power supply challenges. BYD achieved about $62 billion in revenue last year, as the company is hoping to achieve more than $100 billion sales this year. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.